you guys just need to stop talking. No. No, I won't stop interfering, and I'll tell you why. A, a loving family doesn't tell their child to be ashamed and disgusted of their own body. A loving family doesn't permanently, forever, life-alteringly, chemically castrate their child because that immature, underdeveloped child wants it. Okay, first of all, trans kids just get hormone blockers, which delays puberty. Doesn't permanently alter shit. You need to be 18 years old to get sexual reassignment surgery and go on hormone replacement therapy. But prior to that, you need years of counseling. Going to see a qualified gender therapist, which, by the way, you're not. Psychologists and other medical experts. Now, given the suicide rate amongst trans kids is so high, but lessons after transition and 97% of them are happy with their choice... Well, I would say going from having a son named Kyle to a daughter named Kylie is better than having a dead kid. Maybe not. Maybe you don't care about your kids. Or maybe you think that your meme that you found on Facebook trumps people that have studied this their entire lives. Anyway, continue. A family doesn't allow their child to go through a procedure that is almost 100% guaranteed to doom that child to an entire lifetime of multiple chronic health issues. And neither would any doctor or therapist with any sense of morality or humanity if, if i had like a 13 year old daughter and she wasn't overweight but she felt she was overweight uh she thought she was disgusting and she tried dieting but it just wasn't enough for her would it be loving for me to maybe just go get her some diet pills try that instead of you know, you know, explaining to her that she's she's growing and she's changing and she's going to feel different things about her body at different times and that I'd help her through it, you know, partly by helping her get healthy instead of skinny. God, that was a stupid, stupid analogy. But it just proves that you have not only no idea how gender dysphoria works, but absolutely no idea how body dysmorphia works. Congratulations, you're not a safe place for your kid to come to. It isn't love. It's evil. And it's supported by evil people in power. So no, I won't stop speaking out about it because the day that I submit to that kind of evil is the day you can sign me up for me. So tell me what's evil. Allowing other people in society to parent their own goddamn children? Follow the advice of medical experts and psychologists? Or the opinion of a cretinous mouth breather who wants to take away the rights of other people? Get all up in another family's business, obsess over people's genitals, and mind business that is not their own. I think you should sign up. Society would be better off.